Hey everybody, Logan here. Finally, it's time. I broke down. Yeah, since, well, didn't do one in 2023, I decided to listen to my audience. It's the 2024 Game Room Tour. You got that? Okay. And this is mainly to make everybody who watches Ready to Start Podcast happy because you know how often you guys ask about it? Well, here you go. So we're going to start with the entrance like I always do. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, uh, grab your popcorn, get yourself a nice comfy seat because this is going to be a long one. I got a lot of stuff and some stories to tell you about how things have changed in the last two years. Yeah, I haven't done one in 2023 and now it's 2024. The last one was at the beginning of 2022. Ooh. But here we go. And what a way to start with my ugly mug up on a TV over there. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, yeah, I have a, a little TV here. This is where the door is. And I'm pretty sure you realize that's how I get into my game room. It's usually open, but not today, of course, to show you this is the Zelda stuff. This really hasn't changed since the last time I've moved a few things around, got a couple of different things like the 3D Zelda. I did add the Ebonheart pack. I'm not sure if the Ebonheart Pact was uh, was hung in 2022, but I did hang that. Now I have moved some things around here. This is where you can see the closet, and up above I still have uh, the Pokemon, but over here still the Zelda wall, some Nintendo stuff. That I changed to my PlayStation, OG PlayStation, PS Vita games right over there. I know it's a little off with uh, the Zelda stuff, but there's a reason we'll get to that in a minute. Now, closet. I don't usually show the closet, but this time I think I will. Let's open. People have asked me, what do I do with my closet? Closet, I have these stacked all controllers and accessories. Where do you think I put a lot of those controllers? I have boxes in the corner where, well, that's where the controller boxes go. And yes, I have blankets. Why? Because everybody needs blankets in a room. Come on. So you got uh, all the boxes for other stuff up there. Yes, I hung some uh, little artwork and stuff in the closet. So it's not completely bare bones and console stuff. But yeah, you guys were wondering there is the closet. Now, if you look around, this has changed slightly where this is all still the Nintendo stuff, but I've got a lot more since last time. Got plenty of Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo box stuff. Yes, I'm still working on it, but I've acquired a lot more Nintendo 64 box games. So that's one of the big things I've been working on. I'd say the last six months is acquiring new uh, old boxed Nintendo and Super Nin Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games. Here, if you want to look, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy cartridges. All those are just, you know, OG Game Boy, Game Boy Color. I have Super Nintendo, Super Famicom. Yes. If you guys watched uh, my video about selling off some of my collection, yes, I sold off half of my Super Famicom games just because I got tired of collecting those and decided to switch back to what I actually have nostalgia for, Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. Yes, my Nintendo 64 collection is growing. So I have Japanese... North American, as well as some Repro carts. Repro, they're all mods, so it's not like uh, that's how I'm buying my games. No, they're all mod carts. So those are kind of fun to be able to play on OG hardware. Now, the Switch section. I did a, a video, I don't know, earlier last year about having over 600 plus Switch games. Well, I've now broken that. Last I want to say last count was 728, but I've acquired a few more since. I've got Sea of Stars, the uh, Japanese, English, whatnot version. Oh, whoops. Uh, got this. This is a East Asia soft game. Got it from my local game store. There's a whole story behind it. Apparently, the gentleman had purchased one for himself and his wife got him that. Uh, for Christmas, and he decided to sell it since he didn't need two copies. But hey, there's, there you go. And then I was able to pick it up. I got lucky enough. And then a couple of recent pickups 
for the switch and like I said here we go now one thing you're gonna notice has changed if you've noticed in most of my videos when I film here in the game room the NES is gone yes I sold that to the the complete in box with the Rob I felt like I had wasted money it was cool to have at the moment my wife bought it for me uh, on a whim we were out and she said go ahead get it and I had it for about four four years maybe three years and I decided to sell it to get other things because it was just I felt like just sitting there and it doubled in value so now she got me this not last Christmas but Christmas before that and it's become a great piece for the background and yes I still do play it and down here let's go over here Nintendo 64 Wii GameCube and then that's where all my Sega games are I told you I sold a lot and that's all I have left of Sega now if we go over here that's where more switch games are these are the larger box uh, collector's editions or the special editions and then we go up we've got GameCube Wii U uh, some DS handhelds Japanese GameCube like I said Wii U Wii DS uh, 3DS consoles and there's some more switch special edition boxes I got plenty of stuff uh, when it comes to the switch and I'm, I am a huge Nintendo guy. People think, oh, you're an Xbox fanboy. No, no, I'm a bigger Nintendo fan. But yes, I do love both consoles. Speaking of Xbox, here we go. Here's the Xbox corner. So, got both my Series X's, both Series S's. My wife's Series S, my Series S. That's the box for the E-Swap, stuff like that. There you go. Halo corner, but we'll get to that in a moment. Again... Like I said, if you guys remember, my Xbox section was significantly larger. That's all I have left. I've added a few more games for the Series uh, X, and I bet you're wondering why they're positioned in such a weird way. Because of the box designs. I'm very uh, OCD about that. So there you go. Controller boxes. And now one thing people are going to get on to me. Tough. That's all I have left of regular PlayStation. I've sold it all. And that's PS2. Two PS3, PS4. As you can see, there's no PS5. I actually combined my PS5 collection with my wife's, and it's uh, in a different room. So now it's about 150 games altogether physically. With that being said, my Halo corner and what 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 game room in America isn't done correctly without the American flag, America? Yeah, of course patriotism um halo 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 trash can halo. i should have taken that out before i filmed oh well that's all my halo stuff as you can see yes halo weaponry but you know they're all nerfs and whatnot except for that that's the lancer from gears all my halo collection sorry about the light it's the way the the light hits from the outside from my curtains as you guys know i do have Mario curtains. Now, this was an awesome present from my wife. Not 2022, but 2021. It's a lamp made out of the zapper and duck hunt, which is pretty cool. Now, I've got a couple mini arcades back there and a rack that has my Switch Pro controllers. And then underneath it, Amiibos and some random gaming stuff. Same thing goes here. This is just an interesting, whoops, I almost fell over my own coffee table. That's the restroom, you don't need to see that. But, we're going to start at the top. These two are two of my most recent acquisitions. This came from my friends uh, Alex and Tina. It was a custom uh, teardown of an NES cartridge of Ninja Turtles, because they know how much I love Ninja Turtles. My wife got me that. That is the select screen from Turtles uh, arcade game. If you guys have seen that, that is epic. And then we're going to zoom back out. As you can see, I've got Elder Scrolls and Xbox stuff all over here because I'm a massive Elder Scrolls fan, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. Here we go. More Halo stuff. I have a Halo decanter. Yes, that actually has blackened Metallica whiskey in it. Yes, crazy, huh? Awesome. Master Chief helmet. Then we got some awesome Gears of War stuff. Random game uh, stuff. 
Monster Hunter figures and my 8-bit do. This uh, shelf is just a, an empty shelf right now. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to put there, so I just put those there for the moment, so nothing's empty. And then we go to the side. We got all Switch. More Switch Collector's Editions. Switch consoles with 2DS consoles, 2DS XLs. More Switch Special Editions. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, that's what they all are. And then you got your my original red Switch. And then I got my 2DS. You go up. More Ninja Turtles. So these are stuff that came in the different collector's boxes. I set them up. And the Shadow Box. And then Special Edition Switch Ninja Turtles. Here we go. Metroid, including uh, the Metroid 3DS, if you guys have seen it, of course. So that's all my Metroid stuff. Nice little Legend of Zelda shelf with Zelda Collector's Editions. This is not everything, but between what's on the wall and here, this is a good bit of the uh, collection. Here, more controllers and more special editions. <laughs> that being said, we're going to take a look at this wall. So, uh, if you guys know, Xenoblade with the Monado. And then, for those of you who do or don't like Sword Art Online, it's Kirito's Sword. Here we go. I did get this. This is pretty cool. I got this in Megacon. Uh, my wife bought it for me and I hung it on the wall. This is a 3D lenticular of Fulgore. You can't really see it on the camera. It kind of sucks. But he's holding Spinal's head. So I thought it was uh, only fitting to have Banjo right next to him. So that's the, the top. You got an Eternal Darkness. I got this in... It's a poster. Like... Print but it's a nice high quality uh, plastic vinyl thing. I got that when I went to Utah. Now, if you guys are wondering, there are my Xbox fridges. That's the OG, that's the smaller one, they both suck. <laughs> they both freeze up and then cause a pool of water. I originally had this one up here and you can't see it, but I have it covered up and actually, there you go. It damaged the surface without me even knowing it. Didn't think that was gonna happen. But it did. So they're just for show. And yes, those are my lights over there. I have special light bulbs in there. Now, if you look, this is my command center. Here we go. And yes, that's a new couch, by the way. Got a brand new... It, it, it's not real leather because they didn't have one. I wanted one in real leather. But hey, it's, a, it's not quite pleather. But hey, brand new couch, much larger. That's why things have looked a little different because I needed something that didn't have that cloth. If you guys want to know a little inside baseball or inside Red Bandana Gaming, <laughs> that couch that I've had for the last couple of years, I had become allergic to it. it. Caused me to break out, so I had to buy something new that wasn't you know, going to cause that. And we didn't know what type of fiber it was, so I just got the leather. Now, back to this. This is like I say, where the command center is. That is where I do a lot of my filming. That's my current, the the game, sir. That's my current controller. I plug it in there. Otherwise, you got my red switch, Wii U, whoops, sorry, uh, Spice Orange GameCube, Orange N64, Super Nintendo, NES, Pokemon Ball, Pokeballs, and uh, Virtual Boy, my G Fuel, uh, red and blue PlayStation controllers, my PS5, uh, Xbox One OG, that's the one that my <laughs> my wife bought when we first started dating to impress me. Good job. You see, it worked. <laughs> Xbox 360, uh, that's the E version. My Halo uh, OG Xbox, and then what I have. And yes, that is a, a, a Green Ranger as the pull tab for my light. See that? Uh, yeah, my mom bought that for me, sent me that. Uh, as a birthday gift with the Red Ranger that's in the office. So, as you can see, got my Xbox up there. Now, if you want to go to the side, that's it. And yes, that's still me playing. I decided to put a second TV because I like to game, but I also like to watch YouTube. So, as a YouTuber myself, I need to figure out a way to do it. And I didn't want to wall mount just a small TV because I didn't want a large one or anything like that. So I had shelves put up there. I put those shelves up and I just decided to put that up there. Uh, I will wall mount that one because I plan on wall mounting this one up here after I 
get a larger one. This is a 55 inch. I'm thinking of getting a 65 inch. I almost bought a 75 inch, but I realized for the space that I'm in, it's a little too big for how close I'll be sitting uh, up to it. I was going to get one anyway. My wife was like, who cares? But I, I decided, hey, you know what? Let's uh, let's pull back and let me decide and I'll get it wall mounted and just see how comfortable it is. But uh, right now I'm just sitting at the, the 55 inch, which I think is all right. So there you guys go. And yes, those are those are Minecraft cows. Moo. Movie. That's the name. Don't 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 at me. Yes, that is my power sword, He-Man's power sword. I did get at uh, MegaCon last year, and yeah, there we go. So that is my game room. And what you guys usually see in some of the other videos is my office uh, with the Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles behind me. That's a completely different story. But I will do a follow-up video uh, a little later counting all my Switch games because if you want to do what Wood Hawker did, and include digital titles, I have well over a thousand. I think I have three to four hundred digital titles. And this is now, I want to say, I want to say it's about 735-ish for physical uh, Switch games, including special editions. And there's a few more in my wife's office, in my wife's office where she hasn't actually put into her, her collection. And yes, if you guys are wondering, I keep track of all this. Buy a little app called GameEye. That might be your best bet. I find it great. It's very convenient. And yes, I have another trash can right there. It's the, the bucket. One of the buckets from the Super Nintendo... Uh, sorry, the Super Mario Bros. movie. A friend of mine got that for me. And I was like, oh, cool. So I use that as a uh, another trash can. So never hurts to be that clean. So there's, there's the couch. And if you guys are wondering... I got all these things for reasons and blanket. So he's awesome. Don't ask. Um, there you go. So what do you guys think about the game room? If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop it in the comment section below where I got certain things. And yes, that is a vinyl record cut out to look like a link on Epona from Ocarina of Time. There you guys go. All right, what do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Um, yeah, so I just decided to sit down and that's where I'm gonna talk to you guys just to end this video. Should have turned on the other light, but hey, that is what you see behind me. That is what's behind me. And yes, I, I cleaned it up because I'm not gonna show you when I have my little table with stuff on it or the boxes all around me. Because when I do box openings, yeah, most of the time the boxes just go on the floor. But um, there you guys go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Everybody from Ready to Start Podcast, who's always in the chat, Game Room Tour, Game Room Tour. Here it is, two years later, Game Room Tour. So I remember doing a 2020, 2021, 2022, if I'm not mistaken, no 23, but now, here you go, 2024. Still got a lot of things coming. Like I said, I want to uh, wall mount the TV and do a couple of other things. Um, but I think this is this is going to be it for now until whatever new system comes out from Nintendo, and then that might change the whole landscape. Oh, that could be nuts, because everything's pretty much Switch right now behind me, right? Look at all that Switch stuff. So, I guess we'll just wait and find out. Thank you guys so much. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Believe it or not, you guys are the ones that make the majority of this possible. Uh, what I what I get from YouTube goes right back into the channel, right back into my collection. So you guys watching, you guys subscribing, you guys super chatting, you guys doing the um, oh oh what's it called the super the, the super thanks, the the tip, um, yeah, all that enables me to buy and add and just keep going uh, outside of you know the normal job I have so thank you guys so much for watching again I appreciate everything you guys have done as viewers as contributors as just friends of the channel uh, because that's what you guys are especially those of you 
uh, in the chat that are there every week for Ready to Start Podcast. Whether you got John, you got Cody, you got Dave, you got D-Man, you <laughs> Graham, so many people. Kevin, I I'm sorry if I'm forgetting uh, uh, some people that are there all the time, but I appreciate those, e even though when we have a, a horrible night with like 10 people, or sometimes we'll have 200 people. <laughs> I don't know. It's some good nights, some bad nights. But hey, there's no bad night as long as we have the Red Bandana Gaming Ready to Start Podcast family. That's what we're going to call because we're family. Like Dom says, we're family. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've been I've been on a Fast and Furious kick lately. I've watched all the movies, so yeah, you might see a little recurring theme in some of my videos. Just just ignore it. <laughs> I'm I'm a little addicted to Fast and Furious right now. Fast Ten was ee, it was weird. Jason Momoa just did that he wasn't the right casting for that character. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm, I'm done with that. We're gonna just say thank you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video if you haven't already. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow us and watch us. Follow us on our socials. I've started to get back into that again. I'm trying to do a little more on it. Instagram, Facebook, and uh, X. X is the only one that isn't at Red Bandana Gaming. It's at RBG underscore Retro. Follow us there. And thank you guys so much. Again, turn that bell on for notifications so you know when any more new content comes up, as well as new episodes of Ready to Start Podcast. Every Thursday night at 9, if something doesn't happen, I need to put in a disclaimer because Nick and I's life just don't coincide well enough to to stream every night but hey a lot of great things are coming thank you guys so much for watching like we always say be legendary thanks again